Hello and welcome to another Midweek Moment on this Wednesday of Holy Week. As we begin, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Just a reminder, our next monthly raffle drawing will be on April 25th, so please remember to get your entries in early. Registration forms for Totus Tuus Summer Camp July 17th to the 22nd are available on our website. You can always call the office if you have any questions. Please see the bulletin this weekend for important events at Cardinal Joseph Bernardine School, including this year's gala in, in mid-May. Volunteers are still needed for the Taste of St. Julie, which will be on August 6th. Contact Kay or Bob Kempke at 708-670-2060 or kkempke9195 at gmail.com. St. Julie's again will be hosting this year's home build project with the seven local parishes. Sign up is also now open. Contact Sheila Pruchar for more information. Our next bingo will be April 24th. The kitchen will be open for basic snacks and drinks. Our Vietnamese community is anticipating and inviting everybody to a Mother's Day celebration and more information on that will be coming. Please remember our schedule for the Triduum. Holy Thursday, morning prayer at 8 a.m., mass at 7 p.m., adoration in the parish hall until 11 p.m., and 11 p.m., the music ministry will lead us in night prayer. Good Friday, morning prayer at 8 a.m., outdoor stations, weather permitting, at 12 noon, starting in the narthex, Liturgy at 3 p.m., Stations of the Cross in the Church at 7 p.m. Holy Saturday, Morning Prayer at 9 a.m., Food Basket Blessing at 1 p.m., and The Vigil at 8 p.m. Please note that there will be no confessions or 4.30 p.m. Mass on Saturday, April 16. Easter Sunday morning, all are invited to join in the Filipino Easter morning prayer service known as Salubong, which will begin at 6 a.m. Easter Sunday morning, April 17th, Mass times will be 7.30 a.m., 9.30 a.m., and 11.30 a.m. Please note that there will be no 6 p.m. Mass on Easter Sunday. The next few days are, of course, the holiest days of our Catholic Christian faith. There is a special character and spirit to the days known as the Sacred Triduum, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and the Easter celebrations. I pray that we might all experience the uniqueness of these coming days, allowing the encounter with the grace of God to transform us as God had intended. I remember growing up, my mother was very strict about how the family observed the holiest days of our faith. Holy Thursday night always meant that the family would take part in the evening liturgy of the Mass of the Lord's Supper. We knew that it was always a longer liturgy, and since I went to one of the public schools, we sometimes would not have Good Friday off as a holiday. So even though some years Holy Thursday would be a school night, it was not an excuse for the family to miss the Mass of the Lord's Supper. And even before entering the seminary and becoming a priest, Holy Thursday never seemed complete to me unless I celebrated the evening Mass of the Lord's Supper. Of course, today as a priest, Holy Thursday is even more special because it is seen as the day Jesus instituted the priesthood. When Jesus took bread and wine at the Last Supper, declaring them to be his body and blood, he instituted the Eucharist. As a sacrifice, the Eucharist would need priests to offer it. And so Holy Thursday is known as Priest's Day because of Jesus' actions at the Last Supper. Good Friday was always a challenge for us growing up, and the reason was that our mother would always tell us that 
having fun was pro forbidden on Good Friday. And so she would not let us watch TV, listen to the radio, go outside to play, or anything of that nature. And so in the years when school was still in session on Good Friday, being in school was not always fun, and so it was easy to observe our mom's rule. But when Good Friday became a school holiday, and of course when the weather was warm, it was very hard to resist the temptation to do anything fun. When asked, our mother would simply say that Good Friday was a day to remain in prayer. And Good Friday was also another day we knew that we, we would be in church for the Good Friday liturgy. Holy Saturday would be a quiet day for us in the home growing up. The family really did not attend the Easter Vigil. It was only when I was in the college seminary that I experienced the Easter Vigil for the first time. And since then, I fell in love with the one liturgy of the church, which is oftentimes known as the mother of all liturgies. It is a beautiful and ancient celebration full of powerful symbolism. The Easter Vigil has since become an essential part of my personal prayer life and devotion. Easter Sunday in the family would, of course, mean Mass in the morning. And growing up, I remember the church would be overflowing beyond capacity. If we did not get to church early enough, it would mean standing in the aisles or splitting the family up to sit in separate pews. After Mass would be a family meal and then a quiet afternoon spent at home. At times, we sometimes experienced our mother's strictness during Holy Week as a bit of a bummer. But I really have come to appreciate what she did. It has helped me to realize how truly special these holy days are and to make sure that their special nature is front and center. So I encourage all of us to enter into these holiest, day, holiest of holy days with the same attitude. These are not ordinary days. The sacred triduum is the very heart of who we are as Catholics. And so let us come together and celebrate the great things that God has done for us. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who anointed your only begotten Son with the Holy Spirit and made him Christ and Lord, and graciously grant that being made sharers in his consecration, we may bear witness to your redemption in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.